Today's video feature is understanding disability awards and how they're calculated in workers' compensation cases. Now, in most personal injury cases, we deal in terms of a dollar figure. We'll negotiate an auto accident case or a motorcycle accident case. We'll, we'll always speak in terms of dollars, but in workers' compensation, it's different. You, the commission will not award a dollar figure. Instead, they will make a disability award. Now, how do they come up with that? Well, at the end of your medical treatment, the authorized treating physician will release you from care, state that you're at maximum medical improvement, and give you something called an impairment rating. An impairment rating is, is derived from a book, the American Medical Association's Guide to the Evaluation of Permanent Impairment. I think it's up to the sixth edition now. The doctor will take the guidelines from this book as well as their own experience and they will determine a percentage. Now in the old days you used to see increments of 5%, 10%, 15%. Now they're getting much more precise. I'll see 1% and 2% and something just really just too precise to be credible. The good news is that is simply one factor that the South Carolina Workers Compensation Commission uses or the Industrial Commission in North Carolina uses that as one of the factors to determine a disability award. The other factors they do consider is your age, your education, your work history, uh, future medical care needs. Obviously, if you're older, you're going to be more seriously impacted. If you have a heavy uh, work history, a heavy job, a physical job, it's going to be more impactful to you if you have a permanent impairment. Certainly, um, the higher the education you have, you have more transferable skills. And certainly, if you have additional health care needs, medical needs in the future, they're going to factor that in as well. So they take the impairment rating and those other factors to come up with a disability award. So they will assign a percentage to the body part injured, and then you or your lawyer can take that percentage times the value of the body part affected times your compensation rate, and that's how you come up with an exact figure for a disability award. But again, the Industrial Commission and the South Carolina Workers' Compensation Commission do not issue awards of a dollar amount. They issue a percentage of permanent partial disability. Hope this helps.